The Checkpoint is presented by GM Pharma, the first international multinational pharmaceutical company in Georgia. GM Pharma, to serve those who need it most. Kefarini, manufacturer of leather bags and various accessories, closed seven sales facility in Russia and Ukraine due to the Russia's invasion of Ukraine. As the founder of the company, Ilya Geperidze, declares the share of both markets is small and consequently the company does not count big losses. About three years ago, we were represented in 70 cities of Russia, but we realized the danger, so we started diversify. Due to that reason, the Russian-Ukraine war did not cause serious damage to the company. At the same time, we have offset the closure of seven facilities by entering China. We are sales will start from May 15, Ilya Geperidze declares. Moreover, Geferini products will be sold in Israel from the next month. As for the addition of the closing line, the founder of the company notes that this plan is still in forms, although it has been temporarily suspended. We have a plan to add a closing line, but we still wait for the developments. Now we are facing more challenges. We think it wouldn't be right to invest in this area, but we still think about the plan and after entering Chinese market we will gradually add a closing line, said Ilya Geperidze. Georgian platform Kernel, which offers smart financial tools to the business, has entered Indian market. The company already has 7,000 customers in India. Bekha Dalakishvili, the founder of Kernel, declares that India is strategically important for the company, as up to 70 million businesses are registered in this market. At the same time, the advantage of Indian market is the legislation in English and active involvement of the state in the digitization process of small businesses. According to him, the platform operates quite successfully in the Philippines, where over one million businesses are registered. Kernel already has 50,000 users in that market. India is most desirable market for us. The legislation is in English. At the same time, India is the largest market. 60,000 businesses are registered in Georgia, while this number reaches 70 million in India. India has new tax legislation and the state is actively urging small businesses to digitize the processes. Kernel also plans to start operating in Pakistan and Nigeria, but it requires some time, said the founder of Kernel. Kernel appeared on the market in 2019. The platform also operates in Georgia, but the local market is small for the company. Startup Healthy Cake is launched in Tbilisi. The confectionery operates now online and offers customers desserts made from low-calorie sweeteners and natural products. Founder of Healthy Cake, Natela Goksadze, has several years of experience in producing healthy desserts. According to Goksadze, she started a small business while living in Uzbekistan and successfully cooperated with fitness centers and food outlets. After moving to Tbilisi with her family, she decided to continue her favorite business. My desserts are distinguished as they don't contain sugar and wheat flour. They are also low in calories and can be eaten by anyone who follows a healthy lifestyle or adheres to a diet. Our product line includes sugar-free, gluten-free, lactose-free and vegan deserts. The customer can get full information on the calories and ingredients of the products by scanning the QR code, said Natella Goksadze. It should be noted that Healthy Cake actively tries to cooperate with coffee restaurants and fitness centers. For the future, we also want to implement Healthy Cake project in Batumi, Natella Goksadze told BMG. Radisson brand hotel will open in 2023 in Oni municipality. According to mayor of municipality Serko Hidasheli, a 85-room sanatorium is being built in the one city of Utsera. Five-star hotel will have a 25-meter pool and spa. Negotiations are underway and have almost been completed with the international operator Radisson. There is verbal consent. This will be the first time that an international hotel chain will start operating in Russia, Hidasheli said. According to him, construction process mainly employs locals and will continue in the same way after the opening of the hotel. He notes that several millions of gelar is invested. Utsara Resort is famous for its useful mineral waters. Most of the mineral waters in Racha is in the mentioned village. 
Wines produced from natural yeast are becoming more popular worldwide. They don't contain additives. Wine shop and bar Samuri combines up to 100 types of Georgian and up to 35 types of foreign natural wines, the prices of which ranges from 20 to 250 gelari. As Maya Chokhoneli, the co-founder of natural wine shop bar Samuri, declares they opened the shop over a year ago in Fabrica. We have transferred five square meters space into a place of fun, cognition and exchange of information about wine, Maya Chokhonelitze said. According to her, TBZ startup helped them to implement the idea with a loan of 42,000 gelari. We produce about 10,000 bottles of natural wine a year, 90% of which is exported. The export markets include Japan, the United States, European countries, and this year China has been added to the list, said the co-founder Samuri. Wine shop and bar Samuri employs three people at this stage. A four-star hotel of international brand trademark collection by Windham opens in Grigolati. The official opening of the hotel is scheduled for May. Businessman Vasil Akhrahadze invested 6 million USD in the construction of the hotel and he also benefited from the co financing program Enterprise Georgia. A 60-room hotel has two conference halls of different size, a large hall for 8,100 people and a small hall for 30 people. Trademark collection by Windham Grigoletti will serve guests with two restaurants on the first and top floor. A spa center has been set up at the hotel where guests will be able to get wine and spa therapies and procedures under the outpice of David Tatishvili. Georgian clothing and accessories sales platform Faber is returning to the Ukrainian market with a new project to help the Ukrainian people and manufacturers. From May, Georgian customers will be able to buy clothes and accessories made by Ukrainians on Faber. Georgi Chugoshvili, co-founder of the company, told BMG that the authors of the new project were Ukrainian employees of Faber. As it's known, the online sales platform entered the Ukrainian market in August last year. However, after the start of the war, the company's seven-member Ukrainian team temporarily suspended operating. Georgi Chugoshvili says that local producers in Ukraine are already trying to revive their production, which needs support. Most of the Ukrainian producers were focused on the domestic market, but their purchasing power has decreased and now they still don't have the opportunity to buy clothes and accessories. That's why they need sales outside the country. We decided to offer their tasteful, quality and affordable products to Georgian customers first, said Georgi Chugoshvili. The Checkpoint is presented by GM Pharma, the first international multinational pharmaceutical company in Georgia. GM Pharma, to serve those who need it most.